my dear brothers and sisters we are living in a world where everyone is searching for love thirsting for love and everyone wants to be loved but you know there are so many people who speak about love but what does the catholic church teaches or the bible teaches about love that is this is the what the lord the church teaches love has two tendencies two, there are two types of love the uh, what is the real love means real love means always will the best for you always will or wish or will the best for you and growth for you and growth for the other person that is called the true love when for example if we are using the other person for our pleasures mostly in the girlfriend to boyfriend culture falling in love relationships there is a tendency to use the other person's emotions and body for the pleasure of the the, uh, the uh, one person therefore it is not truly love if you are relationship love relationship is true love or lustful love how do we realize recognize it if your lover wants to use your body and use your emotions for his or her satisfaction and if you are lover is only worried only concerned concerned uh, co- uh, concerned about your body and his enjoyment or her enjoyment is a clear sign it is not a pure love that person doesn't will the best for you and your your growth for you but instead that person is only concerned about his or her pleasure therefore this is lustful love it is called lust not love the true love has a tendency the true love will be always concerned about the other person not myself true if i have true love for someone i will be always protecting that person concerned about that person willing the growth of the person and willing the protection of the person and therefore it is true love if i if it, i have a true love i will not use that bo- the, use the other person on his or her body or his or her passions and emotions for my pleasure and if at all if we do something it will be only done through the legal legitimate methods for example if there is pure love between lovers they will only touch the other person's body only after a marriage after the sacrament of marriage where you are 100% sure that he, this person belongs to you or you belong to this person before that you will never ever touch that person's body with an unholy desire or even to satisfy your passions we read like this catechism of the catholic church 1766 1766 to love is to love is to will the good of another to will the good of another to love is to love is to will the good of another to will the good of another so the true love means will the good of the another person always the best first best for, for, you should think the best for another person suppose a boyfriend is having physic encouraging the girlfriend to have some some physical relationship before marriage that means and remember before marriage there is no guarantee that these people are going to get married there is no surety that she or he, he are serious about their married life but before that he wants to use the body of that girl is a clear sign that boy, boy boy doesn't love the girl but the boy is only lusting the girl is having the lust because he is not willing the good of the girl he is only thinking about his pleasure therefore any relationship where the other person is used for the pleasure of another person is not love it is lust it is dangerous it is not good for it. good for any human being to have such kinds of friendships and connections praise the lord, praise the lord. all other affections repeat after me all, all other affections all other affections have their source in this first moment of the human heart have, have their, their source in this first, first moment of the human heart toward the good 
toward the good only the good can be loved only the good can be loved passions passions are evil are evil if love is evil if love is evil and good and good if it is good if it is good praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters even our passions our body passions is true that a girl will be attracted to a boy a boy will be attracted to a girl but at the same time if that attraction has the true love you will protect the other person's integrity emotions and holiness holiness of the mind and also the body if the if the true love is missing only lust is uh, present then this boy or girl will immediately enter into physical relationship and enter into all kinds of physical uh, uh, pleasures because both are not searching for the good of the another both wants to satisfy their passion that is why such kinds of actions are not true love it is lust praise the lord praise the lord and that is why this lust after some time it will disappear in such situations if a boy or girl who entertained lust all throughout their love relationship the so called love relationship it was in fact a lust relationship and after marriage there is most certainly a possibility to lose the so called lust and then end up in big problem and after some time this desire for the other person will disappear because there was no true love you always never thought of the good of the another person you are only thinking about the good and pleasure of yourself and after some time that pleasure will disappear and that desire will disappear and then there is no more connection you don't feel like at, uh, loving the other person you don't feel like talking to the other person and that is why many kinds of relationships are broken after marriage because before marriage what they were showing was not true love but it was true lust praise the lord